All right, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Let's get back into this. Uh, the one thing I did is I'm trying to change this over to easy mode, not because I think the game is difficult, but because enemies are kind of bullet spongy. Um, which is hurting my hand to just have to shoot them so goddamn much to get them to die. <laughs> Some enemies are taking like 10 or 15 bullets for a basic zombie. So we're gonna try lowering that just to make it easier and quicker for me to get through this. <laughs> Alright. How's it going, Nice Kennedy? Whoa, that's a big Hamtaro. Good to see ya. Uh, I was just explaining that I lowered the difficulty of this particular game to easy because enemies are kind of bullet sponges. So it made more sense to me to uh, just make the game go quicker. <laughs> Instead of having to mash constantly and ruin my hand. Um, we'll see if that has any gameplay issues. Uh, some games are weird about easy difficulty that way, so... Yeah, this game, like, literally hurts my hand to play after a while, so... Maybe easy will make more sense. Hopefully it doesn't lock us out of anything. Yeah, good to see ya. Nobody ever mentions the uh, light game sections of Resident Evil. I don't know why. Uh, this seems like the most important part of the game, you know? It would be too dangerous to move Richard now. But we left them with enough ammo and medicine to protect themselves. I'm still worried. We have to find a way to make contact with someone on the outside. Definitely. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Wesker. We need to find the others. Right. Let's hurry. That was... <laughs> what was that line read? I'm suspecting they, uh... Redid the lines a bit. For this particular version of the game. There's a path on the other side of the water. If we open the floodgate, we should be able to cross. Yeah, that enemy would have taken eight shots normally. Even though it's just like every other enemy. Basically just a generic zombie. I'm assuming they also reused all the models from Resident Evil Remake and Resident Evil Zero. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that, but you know what, it worked. Trying to remember the controls on this game is a little wonky, too. Snakes! Why did it have to be snakes? Oh yeah, no webcam today, by the way, because it's too heckin' hot, and I am not wearing a shirt. <laughs> um, the no AC life is real. Nice. Why are all the enemies, like, a very dull color? Yeah, it's a little weird. I'm sure it's just a design decision that they're gray. It's kind of boring looking though, I agree. They don't want anything in this world colorful. That'll be uh, distracting from the horror, I assume. 
That's why Steamboat Willie is so terrifying. Yeah, the no AC life is rough. I don't think I've ever had AC since I moved out here 13 years ago. Looks like there are two ways to go. Which one should we take? Um, the alternate split pass thing is also kind of neat in this game. I like that. Oh no, not these fuckers. I know about these fuckers. That is not the dog one. This is new. It's fast. It won't be easy to hit. You're hurt. Stay back. Yeah, these fuckers hit hard if I remember the normal game at all. Where's my healing at? Dang, dude. More gun, but no heal. I don't know how I'm supposed to tell which one's going to attack. <laughs> it's so dark and there's so many of them. There we go. How's it going, Arkham? Oh yeah, Window Unit would be nice too. Um, we can do a Window Unit, but or ah, a Window Unit, but our windows aren't sized for them, so. Um, basically, I would have to get, like, a big thing of cardboard or something. Oh my god, I can't get that. Something to, like, or, like, a plank or something to cover up the window. They're coming. For this the way. section that Got isn't it. the, uh, the window unit. Hey, how's it going, Joker? Welcome. Hope the rest of your uh, fighting games went well with my good buddy Ryudo. Uh, I apologize for anybody who is scared of spiders. We are playing Resident Evil. You might have heard of this game. It's a uh, light gun game for the Wii about arm wrestling and shooting spiders. Welcome. Wave my Wii remote here. This is one of the more elaborate. Oh god. Oh, this is very arachnophobia inducing. Anyway, I apologize. If you're scared of spiders, now is a good time to look away. I will try and warn you, and there are no more scary spiders on the screen. 
Um, this might be one of the more elaborate Lycan games I've ever seen. This and its sequel, which I haven't played yet, but I do own. No one's here. Where is everyone? I'm worried about Richard. We have to make contact with someone. Uh, I was working on becoming a Jill sandwich earlier, but we switched over to Chris for uh, today. I should be using- oh god! Never mind, I should go back to the thing. I hate these stupid enemies. <laughs> oh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I need that health. There we go. Hi, Salem. Uh, in case you were unaware, it is my cat's birthday today. He is 11 years young. Still a kitten. He got a tasty treat of, of uh, duck canned cat food. Oh, well, a new toy. That's some of his favorite treats. Alright, bud. Uh, Umbrella Chronicles is Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 1, and some, like, bonus content. Including, like, Rebecca Chambers' story and side stories with Wesker and things like that. I think there's also the Hunks, uh, story, um, and some other side stuff. And then, uh, oh god, what's the second one? Dark Side Chronicles is Resident Evil 2, 3, and Code Veronica. Yeah. I plan on playing the other one, too, um, at some point. I do own it. It's sitting right in front of me. That guy I can apparently shoot, but nothing happened, but I did. Uh, I've never actually played Resident Evil... Uh, any of the main series games, I think. Dino Crisis was my first Resident Evil, and I played that, like, last year, this year. No, last year, it was last year. And I, I fucking love Dino Crisis. Okay, these things are cheap as hell. I also want to play through Dino Crisis 2 at some point. Name all the dinosaurs? Uh, uh, um, Regina. Ooh, close one. I've heard Dino Crisis 2 is more like an action arcade game, so I'm interested in how they did that. Oh, yeah, they did make a Dino Crisis 3 for Xbox, didn't they? Something like that. Yeah. Look out! It's coming right at us! Uh, I switched this game over to easy mode, by the way, because enemies are way too much of a damage spawn in normal. A uh, sponge in normal mode. Which was actively hurting my hand to play. <laughs> Um, I get carpal tunnel sometimes Damn. on some video games, go? and this was one of the ones that was doing it for me, so... Switched over. Um, the only difference between easy and normal so far is the enemies actually go down quickly. So I'm fine with that. Two is also probably not what I want out of a Dino Crisis game, but I'm interested in it. One was just so much fun. Also, I, I basically did, like, speedrun strats in one when I realized you could just run past a bunch of the dinosaurs, and that was interesting.
Oh yeah, these bosses were like 10 minute boss fights too for no reason of just mashing the gun button. That's another downside to normal mode. It wasn't harder, it was just longer to, to do. Uh, by the way, I have a poll going in my Discord for the next game to play on stream. And currently, Buck Bumble is winning over Mischief Makers and um, what is that thing? It looks like a giant plant. Look out! Sorry, one second. A Bomberman Hero is the other one. It's too big. There must be something we can do. Jill, aim for that flower. I'm resisting. Oh god, that is motion sickness inducing. Okay. Be careful. I'm sure it's dangerous. Got it. You better be careful too. I don't know how I'm supposed to shoot that thing. There we go. Ow. Rude. time the uh, crouch animation they have you do is the exact same input as reloading your gun <laughs> which is shaking the Wii remote uh, and what ends up happening is like you just get hit because you try to reload on accident instead of dodging it's a weird decision To reuse the same button inputs. I was definitely shaking the Wii remote there. I think I was reloading again though. Man. <laughs> it's fine. Just annoying. Weird inconsistency. I don't know what I'm supposed to be shooting there to get that to not. But it's fine. Okay. Cool. Yeah, gameplay wise, that took just as long as normal mode. Um, for the most part. But like regular enemies weren't taking as long. Oh, by the way, uh, for anybody here from the raid, 
Uh, I recently released a new mashup EP on Bandcamp. You want to check it out? It's pay what you want, which means free or whatever. <laughs> but you can go listen to that if you want to. Uh, Boyks.bandcamp.com or link in chat. Capacity increase is whatever. Ammo increase is nice, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I should go with the rocket launcher. Would be better for bosses, I guess. The grenade launcher is decent in general against like large groups of enemies. Maybe I can go for that. Double its capacity. Oh, not that one. Okay. And then let's do Jill. Pick the grenade launcher. Oh yeah, in this game, like, Chris and Jill are technically walking hand in hand the whole time. Which I'm sure is what happened in the original. They're, like, skipping through the mansion. Something big was going down here. I got a bad feeling about this. Be careful. Both stories are canon at the same time. I knew it. Alright, that's a full heal. When you, uh, would otherwise perish. Pretty good to get that. <laughs> oh, you're listening to him now? Awesome, thank you. Appreciate that. Not having a good sub weapon will do that too in this game. Also, shooting them when they're on the ground, even though it says they're active, doesn't do anything. Mildly annoying. Is this where everyone else is? I'm sure of it. Let's hurry. There was an item over there. Um. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, the, the RZ mashup I thought turned out really well. I ended up uh, originally making that with kind of a bad sample of the KKB song, because it's kind of hard to rip out the vocals from a song, especially with such a strong um, backing track as Lip Slap. But I, I resampled it a different way and actually was able to get a much better, cleaner sample for that one. So I think it turned out really well. Chris, up there! What the? KKB kicks ass, yeah. I've been following KKB for a long, long time. Uh, I went to a live show um, here in Seattle a couple years ago. Uh, they had a show in the, the U District. Um, and they were selling cassettes at the concert, which I thought was pretty dope. <laughs> so I bought a couple. Because <laughs> of course I did. 
And man, that was a good concert, too. It was a lot of fun. You only know them because of bug snacks? Uh, I think a friend mentioned to them uh, to me a while ago when Lip Slap came out. That was actually the first song I heard from KKB. And then I, uh... I heard their um, sick beat, there must be a switch. which samples Super Mario 64, a, a little-known indie game, and I, uh, I got really into them for a bit. <laughs> They're throwing a lot harder enemies at you at this point in the game, for sure. This particular section, though. the level. Am I a little known indie game? Uh, I think most people have heard of What's Up Dog, right? Like, I don't think that's indie. I think, I think I'm like quadruple A at this point, you know? Go to the corner where you belong. Bad bug. Oh, I missed. Great. I gotta remember to shoot out the lights because sometimes there's items behind them. These things are creepy as hell. I'm quadruple A, who's S and S plus. Um hmm. Whoever made those Homestar Runner games, probably. Martino 64 is a little known indie game that most people haven't played. Uh, it was based off of a um, much more popular uh, Mexican platformer about a guy in a sombrero that jumps around with a 3D camera. Yeah. Really, it's a lot of stolen ideas if you think about it. Let's get it up and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch.tv slash point slash subscribe. Exactly. <laughs> now the elevator should work. Um, by the way, you can use the uh, nunchuck to look around in the camera, which is actually useful in this game. Because they hide items out of your regular view, usually. So being able to, like, look around in the uh, on-rail shooter is helpful for picking up good items. Oh god. This game loves throwing enemies at you with a sharp screen transition, too. Gun technique, where I use a gun. That guy's gonna get up. 
for that guy. One of them. Both of them? All of them. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. They just throw the enemy right in your face. Salem were to build a doomsday device on the moon, how would you doom the day? Um... He would make it so that there was always a warm spot coming from your window to create a, a bright, heated floor. But it would always be in the spot where you want to sit, so it sucks. And then, af after you get up, he would take your spot. Terrifying stuff. <gasps> Is that Albert Wesker? Oh my god. Chris, you make me proud. Wesker? Chris. Tonight was an excellent night for collecting when would we data smooch again? on Umbrella's biological weaponry <gasps> and its performance against trained flesh and blood combatants. You set the team up. Oh, he would also take all the hand. No, that's true. true. He loves hand. That was Umbrella's intention anyway. However, yeah, you wouldn't be able to get hand I anymore. Don't need them. Anymore. I don't know what that had to do with being on the moon, though. Moon hand, maybe. The ultimate life form. Tyrants. It's beautiful. Oh no. Time to worry about that now. We have to take this thing down. Oh, that was easy. Wesker. A self destruct device. We better get out of here now. Oh, I need ammo though. Didn't need to throw that. Oops. Why did it need a switch to start its heart? Um. When a mommy tyrant, a daddy tyrant, and all the other tyrants love each other a lot, you know? They install a switch. Yo, it's Brad. I'm at the heliport, but I'm running out of fuel. This is your last chance. Is anyone out there? The heliport. This way. Alright, yeah, here's the enemies we saw earlier that didn't stand up. God, the amount of accuracy they request of you sometimes from enemies. Game's hard. I missed. Interesting. 
thing. If I remember right, I think the ending of Resident Evil is you get to the helicopter and it gets destroyed and you need to use the rocket launcher on the tyrant or something. I've seen speedruns of Resident Evil 1. I've never played it. These are like frogs or something. <laughs> Yo, it's Rebecca. Rebecca, we're getting out of here. All right. But the team. We have to save that for later. Let's get moving. That's somebody else's problem. <laughs> this way, we can radio Brad for help. They never did say the Jill sandwich line. Although maybe I missed it and it was in the second level when I played as Chris. What the? What the? God. That's him. That's John Tyron. From the Resident Evil series. We're guys. How's it going, fam? It's the Dirt Man. That's him. One, is it? We didn't come this far to die now. We need to take him out. This is what happens when you don't leave a little it dirt up here. What is it? Yeah, you gotta keep a little dirt under your pillow, okay? just in case. It's too windy. It's hard to get any closer. Hold on. Good to see ya. Hope, hope your stream went well earlier. I'm playing some uh, Resident Evil. You might have heard about this game. It's a little known indie light gun shooter. Which, which Chris, use this. Kill that thing. Whatever it is. I got it. Oh, you've been lurking, nice. Bum -ba -ba. This is a pretty fun little light gun game. It's really deep. There's RPG elements. It's more than you would think. And it's a, a nice retelling of the remakes, I guess. I think I'm going to play RE1 this year. But the Sega Saturn version. I think that's on the agenda for October. It was near daybreak on July 25th. That and Deadly Premonition. The incident at the mansion drew to a close. Except for Chris and a few others, the RPD stars were wiped out. All of the evidence of the event had vanished with the destruction of the mansion. For a brief moment, I felt the pain of coming death. 
However, this too was part of the plan. This too Nobody was infinite was wealth. It, but I had been reborn. Oh man, he got umbrella Cast branded sunglasses? Is that the lore? And became something greater. Wesker has umbrella branded sunglasses? <laughs> what? Yeah, he's a company man for sure. Alright, we got the MRL. Wesker's Rebirth now available. I switched over to Easy in uh, Chapter 2 to make it less harmful on my hands since it was just more mashing on normal. But that makes sense to me. Uh, what did that unlock? So that unlocked Wesker's story and Rebecca's story. Of which each of these probably has two parts since they're listed as one. So there's like four side stories here. There were two side stories for Wesker in uh, Zero. And then... Oh, does this go over RE2 also? I thought Dark Side Chronicles is the one that went over RE2. Hmm. My tenure employee gift? <laughs> You know what they gave me for my, my five-year at work? A fucking ridiculously large acrylic surfboard with the number five written on it. It's worthless. What am I going to do with this thing? Throw it away? Yeah, thanks. I can bash somebody over the head with it later, I guess. Really appreciate it. They also... That's not all- I mean, that's not entirely true. They also did give me a nice, like, um, felt jacket for the fall for my five-year. And then for my six-year, they forgot they mailed me one for my five-year, and they mailed me another one. So I have two of the exact same jacket with my company logo on it. It's a nice jacket. I, don't know. I, might, I might just put a different patch over it or something. I haven't decided. But I have two of them now, I guess. Uh, Carlos. Wait, isn't this RE3 if it's Carlos? Am I stupid? What is this? Hmm. Got an AMC jacket, ended up removing the patch that says AMC. Yeah, this does not- this looks like a Final Fantasy knockoff or like a, a Dante Carlos. That's Carlos? I thought he was supposed to be, like, a, a sexy fuckboy. What's this? This is just, like, generic fantasy man. Yeah, this is RE3. So, it goes from RE0 to RE1 to RE3? I don't think that's chronological, right? Hmm. Oh, um, hold on. I could probably upgrade something. Let me... Customize. Upgrading guns is good. I only have two stars though, actually, so I cannot upgrade anything. Never mind. That's Resident Evil 3! That's him! I know him. Uh having a shitload of shotgun bullets might be nice, actually. The the grenade launcher was nice for just a ton of damage. Shotgun's good for taking out like basic enemies. These are only really good for bosses. So you only really want these on the final level. Let's go with the shotgun, I guess. Oh, and I got an assault shotgun. That's a new one, too. Slow reload times, but it... It shoots stronger, I guess? And we're guys. Yo, is that the dirt man? Oh my god. Get a construction, a uh, co-worker in construction, 25 years! No, his co his co-worker was there for 25 years. Okay, they just sent him a plaque? But they didn't even get his name right! 
dirt. Man, that must be where they kept his dirt. On the ground where he threw the plaque. That makes sense. That makes sense. How's it going, Teddy? Uh, you know what? Let's take a let's take a short break. For some McGruff. Pretty important message, you know. Using crack and cocaine to get high. That's what you say you love. Just a snort or a smoke. And you need someone to help you out. And sooner or later you're burned in your Wow, this sounds there great. There is help available for people who have a problem with cocaine or crack addiction. Have them call 1-800-COCAINE. Oh, to get Just more? Just a snort or a smoke. Huh. To get high. Uh, don't call that number. 1-800-COCAINE. <laughs> no, no, don't call that number. That is a honeypot. They will get you. Do not call that number. All right, let's go. Never trust McGruff. That's what I learned in my many, many years of watching dog movies. Raccoon City was a town under the thumb of Umbrella. The virus washed over the city like a tidal wave, and in its wake left a living hell filled with ungodly creatures. Umbrella, under the guise of helping the hapless citizens, sent in their private military, the UBCS security force. Jill Valentine, a member of STARS finds herself still trapped in the nightmare she thought she left behind with the mansion incident. Why does she get two guns? I only get one gun. She threw the gun! Why is Jill dressed like Laura Croft? They did like sex okay? her up in the later games. That's some good shooting. Her outfit, at least. I don't we know why. Well, I do know why, but a rescue chopper's on its way. Come with me. You're not a civilian, are you? You've got some moves. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a okay. member of Star. Close. Name's Jill Valentine. Stars? No wonder. So you're pretty elite. And you are? I'm Carlos. Corporal Carlos Oliveira. I've been using a gun since I was a kid. So you're safe as long as you stick with me. I'm a gun nut. My name's Carlos. Yeah, the, the RE3 remake definitely made Carlos into a bit of a snack. I know that. That might be one of the the best things they did with RE3 from what I've heard, though. There were a lot of complaints about that game being too short or something along those lines. see if there was a goodie up there with that light I broke, but 
Can't get the camera to go up the way I want. Oh, doggos. been killed here too Yeah, they are definitely throwing a lot more enemies at you now. There's still only, like, usually a few on screen at a time, but... Sometimes there's seven, I guess. Just kind of big mobs of them. It's the big thing. Something's over there. Down there, jump for it. Okay. There's still birds or something. I can hear. Not that I can shoot them, because they're too far away. You enter the wrong neighborhood, and that neighborhood's also a sewer. Slash ditch. This is just like Elden Ring. I've been in this exact scenario in Elden Ring. Yeah, Elden Ring, over on twitch.tv slash the Juker. Probably. I don't know. Are you playing it on stream or casually? <laughs> oh, you're at the start. That game's great. I had a really good time with Elden Ring. Uh, I probably won't be doing the DLC, is my guess. Unless I do, like, a, a seamless co-op version of the DLC. I, I actually do not enjoy playing Elden Ring um, single player. This entire I find it annoying. But it's a really good co-op game. Uh, not streaming, it's fair, I think. I, I find a lot of Souls games just really annoying. Single player, casually. Especially with the runbacks they do. Elden Ring's probably the best for that, though. With their runbacks. Because there just aren't that many. God die. <laughs> Enemies are so spongy. Liza P looked you pretty good. Yeah. We'll have to double back. If you want more of that type of game, for sure.
on to them. I'm noticing a lot of repeat zombie bottles in this level specifically, because there's just so many of them. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess shoot the red things. That's only a checkpoint? Damn. That level was way longer. By like four minutes. And we're only halfway? Oh my god. Two ways to go. Let's go this way, I guess. By the way, if you're still here, Teddy, I hope your front page went well. I caught a little bit of it. That was the one fight I think we didn't do. Um, when we did the seamless co op. Oh, I need that goodie. I'll take a hit for a good. Oh my god, please get out of the way. Let me get the goodie. I missed her because she ducked under my foot. What the? You might do Seamless? Oh, that'd be sick. It's a really good time. I think it also really helps if you do it with somebody who kind of knows the general landscape and like can lead you to interesting areas. Or at least useful items to... Uh, Get you set up for the game a bit. Oh my god, I was reading chat. <laughs> Sorry if that was loud. I was not paying attention at all to what was happening on screen. Chariot with the exploding pot. Oh my god, I have to reuse the whole thing. Alright, let's try that again. About dying instantly. <laughs> that was funny. There's a chariot. Oh, like the... When you first get your, your HUD? Or am I thinking of something else? Huh. I don't remember that. It is a long game, though. Keep behind cover. We were too late to help. Uh, 
by the way, that death didn't let me use my, like, auto revive with the Mummy. It was just a straight up, hey dummy, get the quick time event right. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh... Alright, let's try this again. Oh my god, it's a different button? <laughs> I'm so mad. It's a random button. Oh my god. Stupid quick time events. You have to use a stone key. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Two ways to go. Huh. You know what? I'll take the bottom route, actually. Screw the top route. <laughs> top route's for losers and dummies. I'm not a dummy. There's mines. Hmm. You know what? That does seem worse. No, what are mines doing here? One wrong step, and it's the afterlife for us. Jesus. This is almost worse because of the screen shake. Miss the dog. Watch your step. There's still some mines left. Okay. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> I don't have time for this. This way is much better than the car that instantly kills you with a quick time event. <laughs> Shot that guy twice and still took a hit, man. Alright. Was there a mine? I guess.
Oh my god. Levels are way too long now. Now that we're out of RE uh, 0 and 1. I don't know why they decided to make them this long. Glad I switched the difficulty though, because this is kind of dumb. Also, I'm out of ammo for like everything. At least I have my Samurai Edge, too. We true. need to bust through. I need that. What a, how am I supposed to react to that, man? Unreactable. And even if I do, he hits me, usually. Man. camera <laughs> there's definitely too many like I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this there's too fucking many I've used all my ammo Why would they do this? Yeah, it feels like they just didn't give me enough ammo to deal with this many enemies. I should have had more grenades or something. I'm just constantly getting owned. There's a gun behind this fucking guy, but I can't get him to die. Okay. Oh, you better not kill me, dude. God damn. What the fuck? I'm at like one hit, so. Are you with Umbrella? Yeah. We came all the way out here. Oh, I skipped the cutscene. Well. I didn't even know I could. <laughs> worm? Yo, worm? I bet it's not so hard inside. <laughs> I'm always saying that. Oh fuck, there was a thing over there, but my camera won't look that way. Can't even see what's happening, man. That oh my god, I can't pick it up because the fucking camera. Okay. Uh, I should point out, by the way, this is on easy. I lowered the difficulty. <laughs> This is actually the easiest the game difficulty to get. Which, uh, pretty hard, actually.
boss has way too much health for this difficulty too, it feels like. Like, this is what, 200 shots individually to kill this thing? I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, I can't kill that thing quick enough. I- what the fuck do they want?! <laughs> I shot it as quickly as I could. They didn't give me enough sub-weapons to deal with those. What the fuck? Ow, my hand. Ugh. What the fuck? Is there a, a gimmick I'm missing? There must be a gimmick I'm missing. Otherwise this doesn't make sense. Maybe the gimmick was I needed to store my, um, sub-weapons for this particular fight only, and not use them on regular enemies at all. That seems incorrect, though. There were way too goddamn many enemies. It might be I'm supposed to grind the earlier stuff and level up the guns. Actually. That might actually be it. That I just don't have my guns leveled up enough to deal with this level yet. And it's like Dark Souls coded where you have to have enough RPG points to continue with the boss fight. I did not mean to pick that up. Oops. I think I'm supposed to shoot the car next to it, too. That didn't do any damage at all. Maybe not. I don't know. That was the part I thought I was missing with the car. What the... And the mouth is a weak spot, sure, but... Those cars come at you fucking fast. What the? Oh my god. I wasn't fucking through a bus. <sighs> what the shit? Resident Evil. The Umbrella Chronicle. I feel like I got scammed. Oh my god. I just don't do- oh, I do not want to come back here, actually. Um, the problem with this is that I don't do enough damage to kill the boss. 
So I think they want me to just, like, unload with my regular shitty pistol. Uh, and that ain't happening. Wait. Game progress will be lost. What? So is this just gonna delete my progress on that level? Like the checkpoint? I guess. Okay, yes. Uh, so that level's bullshit, is what I'm learning. Not only is it like two to three times the length of the other levels, um, there's four to five times as many enemies, and the boss has a bullshit amount of health. And again, I'm on easy <laughs> since I switched it. What the f- <laughs> What were they doing? Why'd they do this? Man. I feel like I need to grind to level up my weapons. It's the only way I can get through that. That is ridiculous. Ugh. Stretch my hand. Why, why would they do that, though? Um... There's that scenario, and then there's Umbrella's End, it looks like. With some sub-story stuff. Don't ever depend on your handgun. Switch to a secondary. But they don't give you enough secondary to finish the level. <laughs> what? Hmm. Interesting. I guess you're literally just supposed to grind. Well, that's terrible game design. Why would they do this? Huh. I mean, I'm not gonna grind, so... Weird. Oh. The only thing I could think, then, is maybe I want to do the Rebecca and Wesker ones here. Because, yeah, this is just arbitrary bullshit difficulty. This is just making everything take longer. Which isn't fun or interesting. Unfortunately. I also can't bring the assault weapon shotgun with me. Um, I think the assault shotgun... Yeah, it's specific to this scenario, and then you unlock it, I think, when you beat this scenario. So I can't, like, level up the Assault Shotgun. <laughs> I'd have to level up some other gun. To get through this. And that was only uh, level one of three of this scenario, and that was easily 20 to 30 minutes. 
Whereas all these other ones are... Like, all the missions in Zero are about four to five minutes to checkpoint. Um, this one was about six to eight to checkpoint. So they're just increasing the amount of time between checkpoints. Uh, we might be done with Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. And maybe I'll check out Darkseid Chronicles later. I don't want to grind this shit. <laughs> that actually annoys me. Man, it was doing so well. I was having a lot of fun, actually, until then. Dang. 